Hey everyone, um, so today is Thursday, day four of the Flats and Hand Washing Challenge, and today's prompt is to share what our wash routine is. So I'm going to, I'm about to start washing the diapers from like yesterday afternoon and this morning. It's nap time, I generally, this is generally when I wash, so I'm going to show you what I do for my wash. Alright, so this is the, um, it's just like a small kitchen waste basket kind of a thing that I use to store the diapers. I don't use any liner or anything in it because I wash the diapers right in here. So I just stick this in the bathtub um, and first I, I'm generally doing two pre-rinses um, and I do it on not totally cold, um, kind of like a lukewarm um, water. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it up uh, for the first rinse. Alright, so that is pretty well full. Um, that's I kind of fill it up based on how many diapers and just kind of want there to be enough space to really agitate. This is what I'm using. Um, some people are using a plunger with holes or without holes um, cut in them. I got this on Amazon for I believe $19.77 and it was worth every penny. It has these holes that really allow the water to flow through so it makes it really easy um, to agitate them and it screws apart so if you need to travel with it it's pretty easy and then the inside is like this so I feel like it really agitates well um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, agitate these for probably about 30 seconds or so um, and then dump it out and do it. actually close to a minute minute and a half something like that um, but the water looks pretty gross there so I'm going to dump out the water and then refill the bucket and do another one. So this is pre rinse number two the buckets filled up again and I'm going to again agitate for probably a minute minute and a half something like that after about a minute or so of agitation, the water looks much cleaner, um, and I just kind of prefer to do the two rinses to make sure that I'm getting as much out as I can um, so that they're not washing in dirty water. So I'm going to dump this out and then wring every, each thing out um, and put it back in and then do the wash. All right, so I have wrung these out, put them back in the bucket, and now I'm gonna fill it up with hot water and I'm gonna add detergent. Um, this is the detergent that I usually use. It's um, rock and green hard rock. We have slightly hard water, so um, this has worked really great uh, for the last few months or so. Um, so I add not very much, just kind of enough so that I see bubbles. Pro I probably use around a teaspoon or so, um, but I don't have an exact measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up the bucket with hot water and then add the detergent. happy with how much detergent is in there and how sudsy it is um, so I'm going to again plunge this for about a minute and a half or so um, and then I'm actually gonna just let it soak um, and I'm gonna go downstairs and have some lunch uh, and let it soak for like 20 or 30 minutes and then come back and uh, plunge it a little bit more before I do the rinses so. all right so it is probably about a half an hour later so I've had a nice little break and the diapers have had a good soak um, so I'm going to agitate <clears throat> for another minute or so and then start rinsing um, so I'll dump out all of this water and I'll wring everything out individually and then put it back in and fill it up again with like coldish lukewarmish water
there's definitely bubbles in there, so I'm going to dump this out, wring things out, um, and do a second wash, uh, second rinse. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna rinse the covers this time because I'm gonna rinse the covers just a little bit individually, um, just with some water out of the. Stuff. is the second and final rinse so I'm just going to plunge this uh, for about a minute or so and then dump it out and wring everything out and then we'll go hang it up on the line. So this is my drying setup. Um, I basically have these two clotheslines that are actually really handy because you can take them and move them pretty easily. It like hooks onto itself um, so it's pretty it's pretty nice that I can like take it down when I don't need it anymore I can move it somewhere else if I need to um, so I just I'm gonna hang everything up with some clothespins unfortunately it's not as sunny now as it was earlier today but I think the diapers will still dry pretty quickly because it's it's still pretty nice out and pretty warm and there you have it so that is all of my wash for today um, so that's five flats four covers um, three fleece, four fleece liners, and four cloth wipes. Um, so that is, that is generally what I use, I guess, in a 24-hour period. It might be plus or minus, um, a flat and a cover, or whatever. Um, but this is pretty typical. And so it, it usually fits pretty well on the line there, but today just a little bit too much. Um, and you can see the covers dripping there. The covers actually take a little longer to dry than everything else. Um, and I actually, a tip that I have for the covers that have these flaps is I come back out here after a couple of hours and I actually turn this inside out because the inside here doesn't really dry um, if it's cut like this or it takes a long time. <clears throat> so I'll come out in a couple of hours and turn um, both the top part and the bottom part inside out. Um, the ones that don't have a flap tend to dry just fine on their own um, and I actually am preferring the ones that don't have flaps which I'm surprised about um, but generally the flats dry in a couple of hours um, the fleece liners and the wipes dry in about the same time and then the covers usually just take a little bit longer but um, these should all be dry um, by about dinner time which for us is in about three or four hours um, so I will show you uh, when they're all dry <laughs> 